Hello, Glass. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Carmen. Welcome. Make sure to have you here. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to send the link back again. Hola, Carmen. Casi no la escucho. Se escucha cortado, Carmen. Hola. Sí. hola, 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 Carmen. Ahora creo que sí. Hola. hola. Sí, ahora sí, ya okay. la escucho mejor. Ya se escucha mejor. Gracias, Carmen. Pero no sé si me estaba diciendo algo más. Pero yo solamente la escuché ahí y se escuchaba cortado. Ah. <risa> sí. Es eh, que por ratito se pone algo malo el internet. Esperamos ya mejorar. Ah, ok. Sí, me imaginé, porque si no, no les alcancé a comprender ahí algunas cosas, pero ahora sí, ya se escucha mejor. Ok. Ay, ok. Thank you, Carmen. So we're about to start, guys. So just give me some seconds. And... Ok, so we're going to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back again, and we're going to start now. Uh, just let me see. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me say hi to all of you. Edgar, hello, Edgar. Hi, Aníbal. Hello, hello. Edgar. Hi, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Where is Daniel? Hola, hello. Good morning. Hello, good evening. <laughs> uh, and quiet. Okay, um, Ingrid. Hi, Ingrid. Johnny. Hi, teacher. Hello, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Hi, teacher. Hi. Welcome. Oscar and Francisco and Jonathan. What is Oscar? Good Oscar, evening. hi, Oscar. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hola. Jonathan. Hello. Okay, guys, nice to hear you. Okay, so listen up. Uh, we're going to start with um, an activity. And let's see, you have to tell me which is the correct option, right? Um, we have an example, two beds in my bedroom. So you have to select uh, either A or B. So which is the correct answer, guys? Letter B. Letter B. There are. Uh-huh, there are two beds in my bedroom. Okay, perfect. Let's see, number two, we have 11 sentences. Number two, what do you think about it? A wardrobe, this is a wardrobe, okay? That's the same as a closet, so it's a wardrobe. In my bathroom. What do you think? What do you think? There, there is. is. There is, perfect. There is. That's easy, right, for beginners. <laughs> okay, how about this one? What do you think, guys? Tell me. There are. There are? There are. Okay, awesome. I send you the link. Okay, I send you the link. Uh, number four, a lamp in the living room. A lamp in the living room. There is. There, there is. There is. Yes. Okay, perfect. How about this one? What do you think? Okay, so which could be your answer for this one? There are. There is. Uh -huh. There are four there are chairs. chairs in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Excellent. How about this one? Ladies and boys, what do you there think? Is. There uh -huh. is. There is. Okay, hold on. 
Okay. Okay, there is a bookshelf in my bedroom. So that's a bookshelf. Uh, how about this one? Five balls. There are five balls in my garden. Okay, awesome. Question A, well, sentence number A. There are, there are four pencil cases. Uh -huh, there are four pencil cases. Pencil cases. Okay. okay, and do you like playing with Legos? Yes, not anymore. There are, there are nine Lego. Uh huh, there are nine Lego. Nine Lego. Okay, there are nine Lego. Okay, uh, ten. There are, there are two, two students. students. Okay, that was very easy, right? Okay, and a teacher. There is. There is a teacher. <laughs> there is okay. a teacher. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's someone we know. Okay. Okay, interesting. So we're going to continue. And okay, just let me uh, show you the. Okay, let me check. Where do we have it? Okay, let's see one more task. Let us see. Okay. okay. Look at this. You see the reason there are and use a quantifier, right? So we have a, a picture and we have to answer. Well, you have to tell me what can you observe in the picture? Example, a question is, is there any radio in the bathroom? What do you think? What do you think? So can you see the picture? Yes. There is a. Uh huh. There radio. is a radio. Radio. Uh -huh. Radio. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Is there any picture in the bathroom? <laughs> okay, I made a mistake. Uh huh. Is there any picture? Yes. Yes, right? Yes, there is a picture. Is a picture. Okay, so sec third question. Third question. Where is the um, uh, where is the juice? Where is the juice? I have seen a juice. Where is the juice? Yes, there is a juice. Where? Where? Where is it? It's on. Uh -huh. It's on the cabinet file. Uh huh. On the file yes. cabinet. Ah, that's a wardrobe I think. Uh -huh. That's like a como un armario, right? Como well, armario. well, I have no idea because I see that it has some clothes, right? Well, they have, right? Okay. So let's see another question. One more question. Um, is there any? Okay, is there any teddy bear in the bedroom? Teddy bear. The bedroom, no. Teddy bear, no. In the bedroom, no. Hmm. You sure? Okay, so let's look at um, some items that we have uh, in the picture. We have a computer, a pillow, a cup, a lamp. What else? What else can you observe? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. There is. A... There is. Okay, and there is uh, some food, right? Okay, Um, have you seen or is there um alarm clock in the bathroom? Is there yes, any? there there is alarm clock. Uh -huh, there is an alarm clock. Oh, alarm clock. Okay. 
Where oh. is the poster? Oh. Hello, Mario. Welcome. Where is the poster? Where is the poster? Where is the poster? Where is the poster? Uh huh. On wall. The poster is on the wall. The wall. Okay, let's see. Make a question, um, Daniel. Make a question. Is there or where is? So you can select this one or this one. For example, where is the teddy bear? Uh, uh -huh. Make a question. Is there is there a Is there any book in the bedroom? Guys, tell us. Select a, a classmate. <laughs> Dora, Carmen, Johnny, Jonathan. Hey. Is there a um, the bedroom? Is there a book? Is there any book in the bedroom? Yes. Yes. There are some, right? Okay, yeah, there are some books and magazines. Okay, um, is there any jacket, guys, in the bedroom? Is there any jacket? Yes. Yes, yes. there. there uh, okay, what is the color of that jacket? Yeah. Yellow. Yellow. Okay, yeah, it's yellow. Mm. Where are the chips? What are the chips? What are the chips? In la mesa. <laughs> chips, chips. Chips. Potato chips. Potato chips. On the cabinet. Uh -huh. How do you say cabinet? Cabinet, the cabinet or the wardrobe? Mm -hmm. File cabinet. On the cabinet. On the cabinet. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. Can you tell me where is the red, uh, sh where is the red t-shirt? What is the red t-shirt? Under bed. Under the bed, okay. Under the bed. It's under the bed, okay. On the floor. Mm, okay. How about the stop sign? Where is the stop sign? The stop the sign. Uh-huh, where? In the door. In the door? Mm. You sure? In, on, or at the door? <laughs> at the door. On, right? On, on, on the door. The door. Mm -hmm. Is that sobre? It's on the door. Okay, uh, how about, let me see, one more question. Well, um, where is a pair of shoes? Uh -huh. Is there any pair of shoes in the bedroom? Yes. Where is it? Huh? What are, where there is it? Is on the sofa. Uh-huh, there. There on the sofa, mm -hmm. or it's on the sofa. But remember that you're talking about the pair of shoes, right? Okay. Uh, have you seen some magazines? Are there some magazines in the picture? Magazines? Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. There are. Uh huh. How many? There are like three, two, one. Three. I see one. Table. Three, right? Uh, yeah, we think there are three, right? Okay. Is there any camera in the bathroom? Camera? Is there any camera? Have you seen one? Any camera? No. <laughs> no. No, no, Ayuna. <laughs> okay. Yes, right. Yes, in English. <laughs> yes. Under the bed. 
<laughs> it's under the bed. It's under the bed. Okay, awesome. Let's see. I think we have some more. Th um, okay. So we're going to start practicing with a conversation and later on I'm going to show, you're going to create your own conversation, right? Using the is and there are plus quantifiers. So the purpose for today's class is to practice what we have been studying during the week, okay? Okay, we have, look, we have Juanita and Juanito. Hello, Juanito, where do you work? So you're going to add your names, right? I want to recall your number, okay? So don't say Juanito's example. Okay, hello, Juanito, where do you work? Uh, Daniel, please answer. Hello, Juanito, where do you work? I work at... Uh -huh. Mention the number of the building. Okay, building's number. At hotel, and you? Ah, okay. I work at a hotel, and you? Okay, perfect. Bien librada la pregunta. Bye. Si se van a dar un punto de referencia específica, decir la ubicación exacta, estamos refiriendo al al building, podemos ubicar ahí el building o el nombre de una tienda. También podemos incorporar el nombre de el número de la calle donde está ubicado el ajá en donde está ubicado su la empresa ok pero en este caso está bien I work at a hotel o pueden mencionar el nombre de la empresa I work uh, at a bank I work uh, at a school I work at a police station and you I work at a bookstore where is your company located at aquí sí ya venimos con la ubicación el address, la, la dirección. It is located at, and you add a number plus the street name. Where is your company located at? It is located at the same 64 uh, Cicis Miles Street. <laughs> That's an example. Okay, no sé si hay un número 66 por ahí. Is there any, so you have to create a question. Is there any bookstore near your workplace? No, there isn't any. No, no hay ninguno. Yes, there is. Okay, so you have two possibilities. You select one or one of them. Are there some stores near your company? And you have to answer, right? Yes, there are some stores. For example, um, the Dollar City, um, a drug store, a shoe store, a clothes store. So these are some examples, right? Okay, a clothes store, a shoe store, okay. So which would be any other store? Okay, so now let's start again. So think about any any number, Daniel. Okay, so let's start again. Hello, Daniel, where do you work? I work at... Any number, a number in the name of the street. Ah, no, here you have to mention the company's name. Acaba el nombre de la empresa o de, del edificio. O el lugar. Para hotel, el lugar, exacto. I work at a school, and you? At a school, okay. I work at a bank. Where is your company located at? It is located at... It's a street. Uh -huh. It is located at? It's a street across from supermarket. Ah, okay. But can you tell us the number? Okay, ahí, si no tenemos el número, si no tenemos el número, solo sería on. On plus the name of the street. On. What is the name of the street, Daniel? ¿Cuál sería el nombre de la calle que está ahí? It's a street. Okay. Is this the real name? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo nos aparece el nombre real de la calle en español? Uh 
La Ordania. Acá. ¿Cuál sería el nombre de la calle? El nombre de la calle. El nombre. Ajá, el nombre. Solo East. 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 Mm. Puede ser cualquier nombre. No, the thing is that you have to mention, you don't, well, we don't translate the name. O sea, ahí no sería de traducir, no sé si ese es el nombre, si es East Street. O si la calle se llama calle. Sí, no sé. Calle este. Ajá, no sé cómo, cómo es que se llama el nombre de, 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 de la calle, por eso le pregunto a Daniel ahí. Calle este. Calle este. Mm, ok. Porque la ese es el nombre, ese es el nombre este. que tiene. Ese es el nombre Ajá. que tiene. AC Street, sí, calle este y sería la otra calle oeste. O en, en pocas palabras sería poniente o oriente. Si lo, lo, si lo ponemos como aquí en El Salvador, aquí en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Bueno, en este caso sí lo vamos a dejar así entonces. Porque no le afecta en el nombre. It is located at East Street. Okay. And where is, continue, Daniel, where is your company located at? Uh, so just ask, just ask the question, where is your company located at? Solo pregunte. Where is your company located at? Okay, it's located at 79, okay, 79. Mm -hmm. This is Street. Eso es lo que me refería yo. Que en este caso, bueno, en este caso no tiene, bueno, no, yo no lo he visto que tenga este o este, pero si en este caso, si ese es el nombre, pues así lo, lo dejamos. Igual no le afecta porque es una traducción literal. Ok, pero si vamos a ubicar acá el at, tenemos que ubicar nosotros el número de la, del edificio o de casa o local y luego el, nom el nombre de la calle. Eso. Si no ocupamos eso, si no, eh, ocupamos, si no sabemos el número de la calle, el número del, del edificio, solo utilizamos on con el con el street name, ok. O puede ser en la avenida. Ok. Is there a, Daniel, is there any hospital near your workplace? Yes, there is a hospital near my work. Ok. Are there some stores near your company, Daniel? Um, yes, there are some. Yes. Uh huh. Such as some such as. Como, uh -huh. Algunas como. So you mentioned the examples. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Dollar City. Uh -huh, Dollar City. Tears. And Simon. Okay, and Simon. For example, there. For example, there is a cloud store. There is a shoe store. There is a Dollar City. There is a. You mentioned some other stores, right? Okay. Okay, perfect. So now let's repeat it again. <clears throat> so I'm gonna uh, add another name. Let's see. Uh, Johnny, please help me um, now. So let's modify that a little bit, okay? Hello, Johnny, where do you work? Uh, I work at um, Sue and you. Okay, I work at a bookstore. Where is your company located at? It is located at uh, 
29th Street. Okay, 29th Street. Okay. Continue. <clears throat> what is your company located at? Uh, where is your company located at? Okay, it is located at 25th. Okay. Say Juan Pablo so Street. Okay. Is there question, Daniel? Is there any bank near your workplace? Is there any bank near your workplace? Yes, there is a bank. Uh huh. Yes, there is. No, there aren't. Okay. Um, Johnny. Johnny, are there some stores near your company? Hello. Activate your microphone, Johnny. Um. Yes, there are some uh, police station. Uh huh. There are some, for example, a police station. Where else? Uh, is that a store? And library. Tiendas. Uh huh. Tiendas. Um, library and. The library. Okay. Library. Um. The supermarket. Could be. Mm -hmm. Could be a supermarket. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, in here, what you have to do is to complete that dialogue, right? So using your names and mentioning the place where you work. And besides that, the number plus the name of the street. Entonces acá, nada más hacer énfasis que tienen que ubicar el nombre del local, ¿verdad? El nombre del local o de, de la casa donde trabajan y el nombre de esa calle. And, uh, well, that's it. And then you add a question. Y acá ustedes crean preguntas. Is there any hospital? Is there a bowling alley? Is there a bookstore? Is there a city hall near your workplace? Yes, there is. No, there isn't any. And then you add another question. Are there some stores near your company? Mention, mention the stores, right? Y pueden men ir mencionando ahí qué tiendas pueden encontrar. Y you can modify that. Pueden poner en vez de tiendas, so you can um, talk about hospitals, you can talk about some other stuff, okay? Not necessarily stores. Okay, so now I'm going to open the breakout rooms and you're going to start working on um, practicing this conversation with a classmate, okay? So I'm gonna open the breakout rooms and you start working on that. So I'm gonna send you the screenshot. Okay, perfect.
empieza usted, Carmen. No lo he armado todo. Mm. Ah, pero usted está... Si quiere, empiece usted, Daniel. Ok. Hello, Carmen. Where do you work? Lo vamos a decir tal cual está ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así como está ahí en el mapa, sí. Ok. Where at uh, a school and you? I work at the bank. Where is your company located at? Okay. Hi, teacher. <laughs> hello, hello, guys. Present the picture. Pongan ahí la picture para que se le más fácil. Wait a moment, teacher. Okay. Ya se puede en la ubicación donde trabajan, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá, yes. uh -huh. just the number and the name of the street. You work. Este, yo pregunto, yo dijera, ¿verdad? Eh, parece que aquí hay board es el nombre de la empresa va yo diría Omnipor and you y ahí Juanita sí, sí, sí. sí ahí me tendrían que decir todo eh, eh, está si, bien, quieren, y, si quieren probamos porque Juanita tiene que decir el nombre de la empresa y después le dice where is this your company eh, yo ni quiere empezar localizado? usted con quiere empezar usted con Mario Uh, bueno, ok, intentémoslo. <risa> intentémoslo. <Okay. risa> uh, bueno, intentémoslo. Es como si estuviera abajo, como un muerto en el fondo de una tumba. Con mi vista me caña. No te ves, María. Um, ok, um... Hello, Mario. Mario, where, where do you work? I work at Omnisport, and you? I work at China Walk. Where is your company located? Is, is locally as where is, is your company located as? Eh, sería, por decirlo así, 
10 Avenue North in front of Sentinel Park number three, number three, two, sería three, three, creo que así sería. Ah, sería la dirección. Ok. Ah, creo que ahí continúa la pregunta. No, porque ahí está un término bonito y localización. Where is your ah, no. Aquí es donde le pregunta Juanito. ¿Cuál es tu ubicación? Ah, Is, is this is located at Boulevard Los Proceres next to uh, Starbucks. Is there any um, a bank near your workplace? Mm. No. There is an Aquí, ¿cómo Bank. Sería eso? Bank. Aquí. There is an, um, yes. There is a... No, es que ahí, creo, ahí hay que decir si hay o no. Y si no hay un banco, entonces no. There is an... Sí, va. Ah, any bank. Ahí está, ahí se queda. Ahí se queda, Juanito. Y pregunta, are there some stores? Your company, sí va. No, ahí sí estoy frito. ¿no? Estamos fritos, teacher. ¿Qué les pasó? What happened? ¿Qué les pasó? Por aquí nos confundimos. Ok, ¿en cuál? Aquí donde dice... Vaya, según aquí, Juanito le está preguntando. Ajá, que ahí van a cambiar sus... Van a ubicar sus nombres. Ajá, va. Porque uh -huh. aquí estamos, va. Hello, va, me dice Mario, where do you work? Entonces vengo yo y le pregunto si yo okay. trabajo en... Uh -huh, en Omnisport, en Omnisport, I work at Omnisport and you, y tú. Uh -huh. I work at a bank. Uh -huh. Where is your, y sigue la y, y él continúa, ok, trabajo en un banco. ¿A dónde está ubicada tu, tu compañía o la empresa? Uh -huh. Entonces aquí sigue la, sigue la misma persona que responde la pregunta anterior, sigue con otra pregunta. No sé dónde está localizado, ¿verdad? Ajá, o sea, en la primera. En la primera vez que dice Juanito, solo le dice que en un banco. Uh -huh. Where is your company? Ajá, y ahí le pregunta, ¿dónde está localizada tu compañía? Ah, vaya, vale. la primera es el building, o por ejemplo, trabaja en una escuela, en un banco, en una, en una estación de policía, en un bookstore, en una biblioteca. Ok, y le contesta la eh, siguiente persona, I work at a, en you, y le dice, ¿y tú? I work at a bank. Where is your company located at? Y le agrega a eso la pregunta sobre la ubicación del, del lugar. Pero acá en la ubicación ya es, el, es en la dirección. Uh -huh. Esta es la dirección. Ahí o tienes... sea, Ajá, digo. Quitamos este where is your. No. No, no, porque esa pregunta sigue adicional. Después de la que usted le da la respuesta. Usted continúa. Ok, ya le di la respuesta. Vamos a ver, hagamos una práctica aquí con Johnny. Johnny, hello, Johnny, where do you work? I, I work at China Walk. And you? I work at a bank. Where is your company located at, Johnny? It, it is located at Boulevard Los Proceres. Uh, next to a uh, Starbucks. Where okay. is your company located at? It is located at 79th, this is Miller Street. Is there any hospital near your workplace, Johnny? Uh, no, there is 
there isn't any hospital. Okay. Are uh, are you are there? are there some stories near your company? Yes, there are some. Uh, there is a shoe store and a bookstore. Okay. Bien. Right. Okay. Ahora, entonces lo que va en rojito siempre es parte de, del diálogo de, de Juanito o de Juanita. Entonces acá, donde está Vic preguntando, I work at a bank, le contesta, a donde está ubicada la empresa. Acá abajo, de lo que está en verde, Mario, it is located at, se refiere a la dirección. Es decir... Acá tiene que ubicar el nombre, el número del building, el edificio, más el nombre de la calle. It is located at 29th Street. Uh, street. Where is your... Y después sigue con una pregunta. Entonces no se queda ahí, ¿verdad? Dar una respuesta, pero le, le sigue preguntando. ¿verdad? Where is your company located at? Okay. Y luego viene acá Johnny, me contesta y me, y me agrega ahí ¿verdad? la dirección. ¿verdad? El número más el nombre de la calle. Uh, what is your company located at? It is located at 79 Smiles Street. Luego, Johnny agrega la pregunta ahí. Otra pregunta. Is there any hospital near your workplace? Yeah, uh, no, there is. A, yes, there, there is. Entonces aquí puede ser. Si hay un hospital, dice que sí, pero si no, no, there isn't any. Oh, yes, there is. Entonces, yes, there is a hospital. Y luego la última pregunta está amarrada aquí a la, la última persona que contestó. Are there some stores in your company? ¿Hay algunas tiendas cerca de, 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 de empresa, de tu empresa? Y yeah, ahí yeah, pues lo pueden poner opcional. Yes, there is. Yes, there are. No, there aren't. Y pueden mencionar algunos ejemplos. Mario, ¿cómo estamos ahora, Mario? Hola, hola, Mario. Hola, algo perdido todavía. Vaya, explícame ahí a dónde exactamente. Vaya, es que se supone que contesta bien, pero también hace una pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Ah, ok. Entonces, sí, ya le voy entendiendo. Ah, Gracias, okay. teacher. Ok. Oh. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos? Yo ni seguiríamos. Ok. Uh, uh, bueno, pregunta entonces primero. Uh, hello, uh, Mario. Where do you work? Uh, I am work only for and you. I work at Pollo Campero. Where is your company located at? It is located as uh, 10, 10 Avenue North, North uh, Central Park, uh, number three, uh, three, 12, ¿cómo sería 23? No, ya. 23. 23 sería, ok, gracias. Eh, where is your company located? Uh, it is located at 49 Avenue South. And where is your company located at? Uh, no, no, perdón. Uh, is there any... Um, Police station near your workplace. Uh, Avenue Juan Pablo Segundo. Ah, no, no, no. Uh, no, no la, la siguiente, la última, donde dice Juanito. No, ahí no. tienes que decir no o si hay alguna. Ah, sí, verdad. Ajá, no, sí, there is no. none. Ajá. Any police station. Ajá. No, there is none. No, there is, is an... any police station. No. Y ahí continúa la pre me pregunta. Are there... No, there. Some... No, there. 
Ah. Así sería, Batiche. Uh -huh. Ahí tiene que con continuar con la siguiente pregunta. Pero como aquí me está, lo que me está preguntando, ¿verdad? Si hay tiendas. Entonces, no, no hay tiendas. Ah, ok. Entonces, ahí ya terminaron. Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. there some stores near your company? Esa le preguntó Johnny. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces ahí pues, sí. Uh, no. Yes, there are, no, there are. Uh -huh. No, there are. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, um, Ingrid and Oscar. Okay. Okay. Empieza usted, seguro, si Ingrid. Okay. Hello, Oscar. Where do you work? I work at a hospital in June. I work at a bank. Where is your company located at? It's located at um, on the corner of South Street. Where is your company located? It is located at 20... Um, street Panamericana is the any bank near your workplace? Yes, there is a a bookstore beside. Ahí continúa ah, usted. Sí, 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 sí. Ah. Ay, me confundí. I cheer some store near your company. Yes. There are some multiplaza, la gran vía. Mm -hmm. There are some malls. 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 Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Son malls like, y puede agregar el like ahí, como there are some malls like Multiplaza, La Gran Vía, and others, y otros. Ah, ah okay, ok, ok, ok. Teacher, en, este caso, en este caso, en este caso la ubicación está bien así decirla de esta manera, o es muy informal decirlo, de, en la esquina de la calle Sur. At the corner of... Ajá. ¿Cuál no, es pero la... es permitido. Ajá. Porque no, yo le digo, sí, es, sí es, es posible. At the corner. At the corner es, es, está dando la ubicación que está en la esquina. At the corner of. Y ahí agregamos el nombre de la calle. ¿Cuál es el nombre? A de... uh, South Street. South Street. Ok. South, South Street. Ahí se la envío. Ok. The company is located at the corner of South Street. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh, de la calle Sur. El, si van a mencionar sur o cualquier otro, o norte, o east or west, esa palabra la van a ubicar antes y después ponen ah, avenida. South okay, okay. Avenue. North Avenue. Uh -huh. West. Ok. Ahí se le envía en el chat. Sí, ahorita. Sí. Gracias. Uh -huh. Excelente. Nada más ahí recordarles que acá yo les puse el at. Entonces, cuando se les ubica at, quiere decir que usted va a mencionar el número del edificio de la empresa o de la casa, más el, nom el nombre de la calle, ¿verdad? Puede ser esas dos cosas. Uh, sí varía, ¿verdad? Porque, vaya, por ejemplo, algunos son avenida, sur, o puede ser entre esto y esto. Entonces, ahí hay que modificarlo un poquito. Por ejemplo, it is located at the corner of, ahí ya no, at the corner of, Corner es una palabra que usted la puede utilizar con la preposición at. At the corner of, después más el nombre del el resto. At the corner of, the, um, sí, ahí, ahí podríamos incluso ubicar este, el número de la calle, el número del building más el street name. Ahí no, no habría problema. Pero ahí lo que sí después de at, en este caso lo que buscamos es que eh, se aprendan acá ustedes que va el número más el nombre, el nombre de la calle. Pero sí, con at the corner está bien. Puede ser on también, on the corner. On the corner. Uh -huh. Y si solo mencionan el nombre de la calle, si solo mencionan el nombre de la calle es on. 
¿ok? Si solo mencionan el nombre de la calle. Por lo tanto, si ustedes acá me dicen, it is located at, eh, y solamente mencionan el nombre de la calle, tenemos que modificarlo. Tiene que ser la preposición on. Entonces ahí nada más eso, ¿verdad? tiene que tenerlo en mente. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Eso solamente, chicos. Vamos a regresar y vamos a continuar con otras actividades. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, so we'll continue with uh, some more things related to um, well, vocabulary uh, practice. And in today's class, we're going to be checking some more prepositions, and I'm going to show you them in a moment. Look at this. Um, let's see. Johnny, please help us reading the objective. Uh, participants will be able to express where they workplace are there are located and how to get the, to them by using preposition of place mm -hmm. so we're going to be checking some vocabulary um, related to prepositions look at this we have some vocabulary like direction or address between and pub um any idea what's a pub pub ideas what's that no. No ideas? Okay, a pub is a bar. That's a bar. Okay. So that's a pub. That's a, it's a bar. Okay. Okay. And look at this. Uh, we're going to start working with um, some more material. So just let me open that for you. Okay, just give me a couple of seconds. Okay, perfect. Okay, so giving directions. So this is very important because, uh, well, in English, we need to know how to express, right? Or when, or, well, or how to give a right address, right? Um, now look at this. We have not here, no, this way, look, um, lesson, wrong way, last, right? So this and is a, and last, right? <laughs> Perdido usualmente, okay? No es aquí, no, eh, esta calle, este camino, um, eh, wrong way, camino equivocado, okay? Eh, stop, so that's, the, the, there are some words that are related to that, right? So it's a little bit confusing sometimes. A veces nos confundimos y le decimos a la persona, ah, ya por el, que okay, va, se va aquí derecho, doble a la izquierda, después uh, camina tres casas, casa blanca y por el palito man. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we're going to check some uh, prepositions of movement. So you can um, say, or you can uh, give instructions, right, to someone. Okay, for example, we have the first one, go straight ahead or go straight on or go straight, okay? Go straight ahead. Go straight ahead means B, recto, B derecho, right? Hacia adelante, so go straight ahead. Or you can say go on, okay? So we have, Go straight ahead, go on. So that's the, the same meaning. The mismo significado. And this is the movement, right, that we do. Go straight ahead, go on. So what's the meaning? Camina, derecho, ve hacia adelante. So that's go straight ahead, go on. And we have uh, some others. Look at this. Turn. Okay, turn left, 
So what's the meaning uh, for that in Spanish? Turn left. Turn left, eh, cruzar a la izquierda. Cruzar a la izquierda. Or, um, well, we normally say make a left. Okay, make a left. Gira es lo mismo y es más común. ¿verdad? Make a left, but you can also say it, uh, turn left, right? Make a left, gira, okay, gira a la izquierda. And <clears throat> turn right, gira a la a la derecha, okay. Oh, but you can also say make a make a right, make a right, okay. So now we have go straight ahead, go straight ahead, <clears throat> okay. So copy that. Go straight ahead, go on, go on, turn left, turn left, turn right, turn right, make a left, make a left. Make a left. Make a right. Make a right. Make a right. And this is, uh, let's say, common, right? Make a left, make a right. Okay. And it's the same meaning. El mismo significado. So now, look at this. We have some more prepositions of place. We have on, which means sobre, above means arriba, over means Arriba de también. Okay, but in this sense, it means that you're covering something. Quiere decir que está cubriendo algo, right? Over. In front of, en frente de, beside or next to, a la par de. Okay, below means abajo, right? Abajo. Pero no está directamente en... Digamos, eh, pegado a algo. Below, abajo. Under, debajo. Behind means. Behind. Look at this. Atrás, right? Mm -hmm. Behind, beside, in, under, and on. Again. Behind, beside, in, under, and on. Okay, nuevamente, atrás, al lado, dentro, o adentro, under, debajo, on, sobre. Over, está cubriendo algo, arriba de. And, um, let's see, uh, any other? Ah, oh, that's all, right? So now, <clears throat> um, in addition, we also have some more, right? Prepositions of movement. Tenemos algunas otras preposiciones de movimiento. And, um, for example, we have up, which means arriba, down, abajo, out of, out of, means fuera de, afuera. Uh -huh. fuera. fuera de, afuera, fuera de. In means adentro, again, for example, you can say uh, go up, go down, um, And uh, well, we have some more examples. In, on, under, over, okay? At, for a specific location, across, which means that something is in front of. Across, quiere decir, en este caso, en frente de, across from. For example, uh, the bookstore is across from the library. La tienda de libros está en frente de, de la biblioteca. Uh, along, which means it's very similar to go straight ahead, along, a lo largo de, along. So go along, go along, okay? No go along, go along, <laughs> okay? Go along, ir, ir a lo largo, right? Ir, go straight ahead, go on, okay? And, uh, well, these are the same uh, examples. Again, we have in, on, under, over, behind, between, out, far, far, para indicar distancia. Okay. So now you can notice the, the points, right? The red points. So it means inside, on, sobre, under, debajo, over, arriba, but not directly, right? <laughs> and behind, between, entre dos. 
cosas o personas out of, fuera de, and far, to show distance, right? Para mostrar distancia. So now, let's, it's time to practice. Let's watch some, let's observe some examples. In here, you have a map. We have a bank. We have a police station, a store. Uh, first Street, Main Street, and Second Street, uh, Central Avenue. Uh, we have a library, bus office, a drugstore, a movie theater, a school, a restaurant, a hospital, a train station, and a church. Okay, so now it's our um, time to select the correct preposition. So what do you think about the first one? The police station is... Any preposition, police station. Between. It's between, between. between the bank and the store. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? The police station is between the bank and the store. Cuando hay algo en medio de, ubicado en medio de dos, de otras dos eh, construcciones, de otras dos eh, edificios. Okay, uh, number two, the drugstore is, where is the drugstore? The drugstore store is in front of across, across from the police station. Excellent, Daniel, across from. Across from means in front of, okay? Enfrente de, okay, cruzando la calle, right? Across from the police station. Number three, the school is... Where is the school? Look for the school. Beside, a un lado. Uh -huh, the Beside is... the restaurant. Ah, okay. Beside or and next to. to. Mm -hmm. That's the same. Es lo mismo. Okay, next to, beside. Beside the restaurant, next to the restaurant. Number four, the train station. Number four, what do you think? What do you think? Where is the train station? Across from. Mm -hmm. Across from, from the school. school. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, right. Number five, tell us how, what do you think about number five? Is next to is uh -huh. the movie theater and the post office. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. The drugstore is between the movie theater and the post office. Entonces, cuando utilizamos acá between, recuerden que tienen de haber dos, dos edificios, the movie theater y acá está the post office. Okay, nice. How about this one? So now you have a task. So try to complete that on your own. O sea, intentamos completar ese ejercicio. And you have to select the correct prepositions, right? So just... Okay, so let's see. Ready? Number the one. House is above the car. Okay, let's check that. Behind. Mm. <laughs> the house is behind the car. No, it's not uh, above. Está arriba quiere decir que está 
sobre. Sobre la luz. Uh -huh. Ahí no está, no hay nada. Por ejemplo, el sol, podríamos decir el sol. The sun is. Ya vamos a ver. Ok, the dog is. Under. Under. Below. Debajo. Debajo. Ok, below the sun. The tree is to the right or left. Right. Left, left. Left, left, right. The tree is to the left of the house. The car, where is the, the car? <laughs> Mm -hmm. What do you think, number four? Where is the car? The car is the house. Come on, you know it, you know it. Next to, behind. Uh -huh. Yes, Oscar. Look at this. It was super easy. In front of the house. Está enfrente de, de la casa. Where is the sun? The sun is. Above. Above the dog. Perfect, Oscar. The sun is above the dog. Okay, number six. The house is between the dog and the tree. Okay, excellent. Number seven. That was easy. The dog is to the right of the house. Okay, so let's check. Okay, perfect. So the house is behind the car. The dog is below the sun. Okay, so we're talking about distance. Aquí estamos hablando de distancia, debajo de. Okay, so the um, dog is below the sun. The tree is to the left. El árbol está a la izquierda de la casa. The car is in front of the house. The sun is above the dog. Okay. El sol está arriba del perro. Okay. And the house is between the dog and the tree. And the last one, the dog is to the right. To the right of the house. Okay. Now, I think this is uh, a little bit easier. Look at this. That's a piece of cake. The cat. Where is the cat? Super easy. Under the table. Yes, right? Under the table. The base. This is a base. This is a base. Where is the base? On the table. Uh, it's on, on the table. And the last one, the flowers are... In. <laughs> in, in right in right yeah they are in the base and then through it yeah that was uh, pretty easy <laughs> okay so now look at this uh some more questions where is the tree the bicycle the dog the table the cloud the basket and the ball okay so you have uh, the example you have the word ball and table the ball is, look at uh, the ball is under the table. Number three, uh, well, number number one, <laughs> number one, basket and table, basket and table. So we start with the word basket. The basket is, where is the basket? The, the basket is over. over. Mm -hmm. uh, any other answer? On. On, right? On the table. 
Okay. Okay. Above means uh, above means arriba, pero cuando estamos hablando de una distancia hay una mayor distancia arriba de mm -hmm. hay una a higher let's say, between the objects. Okay, three and a bicycle. Three and a bicycle. Where is the tree? The tree is behind. Okay, behind. Bicycle. Okay, number three. Okay, number three, ideas. Uh, oops, number three, ideas. The closest above. Above, okay, above what? On the table. Above the table, okay, perfect. Recuerden que cuando estamos above, estamos hablando de una distancia más eh, lejana, ¿verdad? Higher, una posición más alta. Okay, uh, bicycle and tree. The bicycle. Is. Uh -huh, the bicycle. Is from. From the. Is. Is from. Is in front yes, of from, uh -huh, from, um, of the tree. Okay. In front of the tree. Of the tree. Okay. Yeah. Number five. Dog, the bicycle, and the table. The dog. It's mm -hmm. between, between between what? The bicycle and the mm -hmm. table. The table. Bicycle and the table. Okay. Perfect. So now let's continue. And now we're going to um, have a listening task. Okay. Okay, so now listen, we're going to listen to some dialogues and these are related to um, locations. We have um, A and B and you're going to listen to that. But now let's analyze the map first. We have three different positions. We have A, V and C. So you have to identify where is um, the location that they mention, okay? So you have to tell me at the end of the dialogue if it's A, V, or C. So I try to identify that. Okay, so we have a train station, we have a bank, a hotel, a police station, and a bookstore, okay? And uh, we have two streets, Main Street and Apple Street. And there are two avenues, uh, First Avenue and Second Avenue. We're going to start over here. And se inicia de acá, según acorde la, la dirección que hay. So let's see, let me play the audio. Me avisan si se escucha o si no se escucha. No se escucha. Okay, vamos a ver nuevamente. Excuse me. Oh, sí. yes. How to get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left on Main Street. Go one block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Okay, so let's listen again. Excuse me. Yes? How to get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left on Main Street. Go one block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. 
Yeah, okay, nice. So a question that we commonly use is, uh, how do I get to? Como llego a tal lugar? How do I get to? And you mentioned the place. Como llego, how do I get to Dollar City? How do I get to the bank? How do I get to the hotel? How do I get to the bookstore? How do I get to the police station? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, how do I get to the post office? Go pass, go pass. Se le está dando una indicación. Para las indicaciones vamos a utilizar imperativos. Es decir, solo la forma base del verbo. Go, ir, ¿verdad? Ve, go pass, ok. Ve y pasa, ¿qué cosa? Go pass. Let's see, let me point hotel. that. Uh -huh. Go pass the hotel, ok. And turn. And left. Ok. Gira a la izquierda. Ajá. Uh -huh. Left onto. Main Street. En el Ahí está la Main Street. Go one block. Ok. What's a block? A la derecha. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go one block. B. Una cuadra. Y luego. Frente a la estación. Gira. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, muy bien. Gira, ¿a dónde? A la derecha. Ajá, make a right. Ajá, it's a cross road. Okay. ok, entonces, ¿cuál es la... ¿A dónde está el lugar? ¿A dónde está la post office? A. A, so that's A. So let's listen again. Excuse me, yes. How to get to the post office? How past the hotel until left on to Main Street? One block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Okay. So it's not only so bien sencillo. Go past the hotel. Hay que pasar el hotel. And then turn. Luego gira. Turn left. Okay. Onto Main Street. Sobre la calle principal. Go one block. Es decir, tiene que avanzar una cuadra y luego gira a la... Ajá. La derecha. A la derecha. It's across from... Train station. Train station. So it means it's A. Okay, let's see. Um, next dialogue. So we have another dialogue. Lo vamos a escuchar primero y después hacemos la speaking practice. So, but uh, what I want you to notice is the instructions. How do they give these instructions? Lo que quiero que vayan anotando es cómo es que van dando las indicaciones. Go past the hotel. Okay, ahí está una. Y luego, y dice luego, okay, turn left, okay, ir a la izquierda, on to... Y puede ser on to, puede ser on, y el nombre de la calle, on Main Street. ¿okay? El on to lo que nos está haciendo es indicándonos que hay un movimiento. ¿okay? On to Main Street, go one block, ahí tenemos la otra indicación, go one block, and turn right. ¿okay? Si no le pongo el en, solamente estoy copiando acá las, las indicaciones. It's across from... Y ahí le da un punto de re una referencia. It's across from. Okay. It's across from the train station. Thank you. So that's what you have to notice. Entonces, eso es lo que nosotros debemos de saber para dar indicaciones. Saber utilizar ahí los imperativos. Go past the hotel, turn left, go one block, turn right. It's across from. Let's see another example. Dialogue number two. Again, the same. Uh, the same uh, map, A, B, C, the same places, our buildings, and the same, we have Main Street, Apple Street, and the first and second avenue, right? So now let's play the audio again. So listen up and try to identify uh, where- How to get to this market? It's easy, turn left to the corner onto Apple Street, go one, go one block, the supermarket on the corner of First Avenue and Apple Street, next to the police station. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more. 
How do we get to this market? It's easy. Turn left at the corner onto Apple Street. Go one block. The supermarket on the corner of First Avenue and Apple Street. Next to the police station. Thanks. Okay, nice. So let's identify the um, directions. How do I get to the supermarket? It's easy. Turn left. Okay, it's easy. Turn left. So can you tell me the instructions that he gives? Turn left. Okay, that's the first one. Turn left. ¿A dónde va a girar a la izquierda? At. En la esquina. Okay. Onto Apple Street. Street. Uh -huh. Va a girar a la izquierda en la esquina de la calle Apple. Ok. The next instruction is go one block. ¿Cuántas cuadras? Only one, right? Uh -huh. The supermarket is, ¿a dónde está el supermarket? Next to the police station. Uh -huh. Is on the corner of First Avenue. Está, ok, está en la esquina de la primera avenida y la calle Apple, next to the police station. Ok, so now let's try to uh, follow the, the lines. Again, ok. Ok, how do I get to the supermarket? Uh, Daniel, can you read B? Sí. Mm -hmm. Ah, lo leo. Ajá, please. It's easy. Turn left at the corner on to Apple Street. Go one block. The okay. supermarket. Mm -hmm. Where is the yeah. corner? Where is the corner? This one or this one? First Avenue and Apple Street. Okay. So you turn left. Okay. On to Apple Street. Go one block. Okay. Una cuadra, and then the supermarket is on the corner of First Avenue, and First Avenue and Apple Street, next to the police station. So it means that the supermarket is A, B, or C. C. It's C, right? Okay. Nice. So now let's continue with the next one. Dialogue number three. So I know that you already know, but pay attention to the instructions. Excuse me, how to get to the restaurant? Go straight past the bookstore in the hotel, turn left onto Main Street. It's the second building on the left, between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Excuse me, how to get to the restaurant? Go straight past the bookstore in the hotel, turn left onto Main Street. It's the second building on the left, between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Okay, awesome. So now let's see, um, again, so what are the instructions? Excuse me, how do I get to the restaurant? Johnny, can you read the instructions? Go. Uh Go straight past the bookstore and the hotel. Okay, bookstore. Turn left, turn okay. left on on onto Main Street in uh -huh. the second building of the left between the hotel and the bank. Okay, so which is the second building? We have the hotel. This is the first building. Second building, B between the bank. In the the hotel and the bank. Uh huh. Between the bank and the hotel okay so um the restaurant is beer right so this one where is it this one that's b okay so that's how you're going to uh, give uh, directions or addresses Entonces, así es como vamos a dar indicaciones so now let's see let's practice the shared dialogues that we have because uh, in a moment you're going to have a task Okay, um, let's see, um, volunteers for this one, volunteers. 
Dialogue number one. Okay. Um, okay, Carmen and Edgar, go ahead. Empieces de Edgar. Hey, excuse me. Yes. How do you I how do you I get to the post office? Go past the hotel and turn left on Main Street. One block and turn right. It's across from the train station. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, dialogue two. Um, volunteers. Okay, Daniel. Yeah. And uh -huh. Daniel, select a victim. We have Dora, <laughs> Ingrid, <laughs> Jonathan, Oscar, Dora. <laughs> Mario, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Adora, no la veo. Okay, Dora. Hello. Dora, hello, Dora. How do I get to the supermarket? <laughs> So the question is, how do I get? How do I get to the How do I get? Uh -huh. So how do I get? Is that not a calo is a poquito rápido, no? How do I get to the market? How do I get? How it do I get? Turn left to the corner onto Apple Street. Go one block. The supermarket's on the corner of First Avenue and Apple Street, next to the police station. Thanks. Mm -hmm. yeah, la forma también, el acento que tiene. How do I get? Okay. Uh, next dialogue. Dialogue three. Volunteers. Okay, thank you. Um, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> Oscar and let's see Johnny. Okay. Uh, excuse me. How do you get to the restaurant? Go straight past the bookstore and the hotel. So lanes on the main street is the second building of the left between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Okay. Listen again. Excuse me. How to get to the restaurant? Go straight past the bookstore in the hotel, turn left onto my street. It's the second building on the left, between the hotel and the bank. Thank you. Okay, so that's hotel, hotel. Go straight past the bookstore and the hotel, turn left onto Main Street. It's the second building on the left between the hotel and the bank, hotel, hotel. Okay, thank you guys. So now we have a task, which is Amanda's house. So we have A, B, C, and D. And we have a Sarah's house, okay? Sarah's house, we have Broadway Street, State Street, Central Street, uh, sec first and second Avenue, okay? So we have to identify where is um okay where is Amanda's house. Okay, um help us, Carmen. Can you read the information, please? Hi, sorry. Help us, uh, Carmen. Read the read this paragraph. See, where is Carmen? Mm, Fernando, Fernando, ahí está Fernando. Fernando, can you help us reading this? Hello, Fernando. Okay, anybody else? Um, well, I don't know. 
Okay, Dania. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sarah. I am glad you can come to my party on Friday night. My house is easy to find. From your house, go straight up Broadway to the corner of Broadway and Second Avenue. To right, go straight to blocks and then turn left. It's on the left on the corner of First Avenue and Central Street. See you on Friday. Okay, so what do you think? Which is um, which is Amanda's house? A, B, C, or D? Ideas? O sea, ¿quiénes ya identificaron cuál es la casa de Amanda? So, which is Amanda's house? Not ready yet? Okay. So we are here, right? Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Dora? Sí. Sí. Okay, so you think it's C. So now let's try to prove that. Um, I'm glad you can come to my party on Friday night. My house, is, my house is easy to find. From your house, go straight up Broadway, okay? To the corner of Broadway and Second Avenue, okay? And Second Avenue. And then turn right, okay? Go straight two blocks, okay? One block, two blocks. Two blocks. And then turn left, uh-huh, on the corner of First Avenue. Okay, corner of First Avenue. Aquí está la esquina. And then Central uh, and Central Street. You see you on Friday. So that's C, right? Excellent, Mario. Excellent, Dora. So Amanda's house is C, right? Okay, that was AC. Ah, okay, nice. Okay. So I'm going to start sharing in a moment. Just give me a couple of seconds. Okay, again, so I have some more uh, examples because I need you to, um, well, give uh, these addresses. So location and directions. Where's the supermarket? So this is a common question, right? ¿A dónde está el supermercado? La pregunta que utilizamos solamente para ubicaciones es where. Where is, where is the supermarket? O podemos utilizar, how do I get, how do I get to the supermarket? Okay. Como llego al supermercado. So now let's see. Where's the supermarket? Ideas? Ideas? Where's the supermarket? It's around the corner. It's around the corner. So that's another possibility. Okay. It's around the corner. Where's the library? Where's the library, guys? Yes. Where's the library? Come on. You know it. Right it's across from across across from the street uh-huh it's across from the street or it's across the street mm -hmm. cruzando la calle or across from okay it's across the street next where's the hospital let's see what do you think about it any idea just give me an idea so it doesn't matter give me an idea where's the hospital Yes, guys. 
it's a, it's a right the three okay okay but that was very good Dora that was good it's down the street on okay to the it's down the street to to the left or to the right to the left mm -hmm. to the left okay uh, down the street so another one that you can copy it's down the street <laughs> okay. okay, how about this one? Where is the bank? Where's the bank? It's easy. <laughs> it's easy. Where is the bank? Uh huh. So, this is the bank. Where is the bank? Come on. Next the hospital. It's next to the hospital. Next to, okay, next to the hospital. Where's the church? Uh -huh. Tell me. Yes. It's on the left. It's on the left. Okay. It's on the left or it's to the left. Where's the restaurant? It's on. It's on the right. On the right. Okay. Right. On the right. How do I get to the museum? Let's see. How do I get to the museum? Go straight on. Go straight on. Okay, so look, go straight on. Turn left, okay, turn left, and then turn right. <laughs> mm. It's across from the school. It's across from the school. Okay, another example. How do I get to the police station? How do I get to the police station? Guys, ideas? So we are here. Estamos acá. How do I get? That you are here. Let me see. How do I get to the police station? <laughs> yes. Left. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Go on or go oh, straight go ahead. On. How many blocks? Quantos? Quantas cuadras? How many blocks? One block. block. Uh -huh. Go straight ahead. One and block. Right. Okay. Turn. Right. And turn. Right. One block. One block. One block. Okay. Left. Left. It's on. Mm -hmm. oh. It's on my right or left? Uh, left. 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 It's on okay. left. It's left on across the. Uh -huh. It's on the left. So look at the look at the instructions. Okay, go two blocks. Okay, ellos lo contaron desde acá abajo. Nosotros lo contamos desde acá de la esquina. Okay, uh, go two blocks. Turn turn oh, on the right. Uh -huh. oh, turn oh, on oh. the right. Go one block. It's on the left. It's on the left. So memorize that. So copy that example. Because you're going to use that. Lo van a utilizar en unos breves momentos. Ya no va a poner un mapa. Solo para usted. Okay. So, but uh, what you have to have clear is uh, how to give that these instructions. Go two blocks. Okay. One block. Two blocks. Turn on the right. Okay. Gira a la derecha. Go one block. Okay. Voy a girar a la derecha. ¿Cuántos bloques? ¿Cuántas cuadras? One. It's on the left. Está a la izquierda. Okay, next. Let's see if we have another one. Okay, how do I get to the hospital? How do I get to the hospital? Hospital. 
Another in well, we have an avenue as well. Go to the corner and go to the corner. The Alequina, go to the corner, turn right, go straight on. Uh -huh. Camina hacia adelante, ve derecho, ve recto, go straight on. It's at the corner. Okay, acá está la esquina. Acá. Okay, it's on the corner, it's at the corner of Park Avenue. En Oak Street. Está en la esquina de la avenida Park y la calle Oak. Ok. Ok. So, let's see. So, I'm going to send you the screenshots. That's the second one. Ok. So, ready for this one. We have Park Avenue and Oak Street. So now you have to consider that. How do I get to the stadium? How do I get to the stadium? Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Go to the corner. Okay, go to the corner. Left, right. Turn. Turn. Uh -huh. Turn. Right. Right. Okay. Go. Go one block. One block. Okay. Two block. Uh, right. Okay, and then it's right. It's mm, okay. it's to the right. It's to the right. Let's see. Okay, again, go to the corner, turn right, go two blocks. Okay, they count two blocks. Mm, well, cala contar como dos cuadros. It's on the right, está a la derecha, opposite the gas station, opposite the gas station, opposite the gas station. Okay. Let's see if we have another one. The last one. How do I get, how do I get to the garage? How do I get to the garage? Garage. Right. I think that's Paddy's garage. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get to the garage? Mm -hmm. Go on how many blocks? Yeah. Two blocks. Two blocks, and then? And four. There to left. the left. Okay, turn left. Now? Uh, it's, uh -huh. it's... It's left. On. Okay. On it's the on. right. On the left. Right. Left. Um, left or right? Um, right. <laughs> right. 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 Okay. Okay. Let me show it to you. Okay. So go two blocks. Turn left, it's yeah. on the right, across, across, from, from the park. across from the park. Okay, go two blocks, one block, two blocks, turn left, it's on the right, across from the park. Okay, let's see if we have uh, any other. Okay, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Un poco perdido, pero yo. 
Yes, Bien. I am lost. <laughs> okay, so now you have your own task. Okay, pretty easy. So now you have to ask, where are these places? Where is the cafe? Where is the bar? Where is the pub, hospital, the hotel, the church? How do I get to if I am at? Okay, ¿cómo llego a tal lugar? How do I get to, um, let's say, to the pub? Voy a poner un ejemplo acá. If I am, si yo estoy en, if I am at, uh, let's say, at the supermarket. Okay, so you have to modify that. O sea, lo van modificando. Y van ubicando ahí las eh, diferentes... Eh, stores or buildings and uh, this question is um, you can use the prepositions as well y con esta pueden ubicar las preposiciones where is the cafe it's on main street okay it's at the end of main street where is the police location the police station located at it's okay acá tienen que ubicar digamos si acá está at Ahora le vamos a poner ahí el on también. Si está el at, ahí tenemos que agregar un número, ¿verdad? Pero si no, solo pongan ahí Main Street. Where is the police station? Right, ejemplo, police station. Where is the police station? Located um, on. Police station on, is uh -huh. on Main Street. It's on Main Street. Okay. Entonces podemos dejarlo con on porque no tenemos números ahí. Pero entonces acá tenemos que cross out this. Ok. Let me mark that. Ok, on. Ok, uh, let's see. How do I get to the pub if I am at the supermarket? So try to give me the instructions. Yes. How do I get to the pub? This is the pub. If I am at the supermarket. So this is the supermarket. Go to block. Okay, go to block. Blocks. Go straight ahead. Go on. Go two blocks. Okay. And then? Then. At the yeah. traffic lights, miren, aquí tenemos un semáforo, ok, at the traffic lights, también podemos utilizarlo, at the traffic lights, en el semáforo, so what's going to happen at the traffic lights? At the traffic light. Turn. And to the right. Ok, on. On Main on Street. Right. On Main Street. Okay, go, how many blocks? Two blocks. One block. Two blocks. Two okay. blocks. Two blocks. Pero ya está bien, bien. Manza en la esquina, acaba. Yes. Left. It's on. On left. On your left. Está a tu. Yeah. On, on your right. left, it's on. Across left. from. Hospital. Uh -huh. On the left, across from. Across from hospital. 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 Okay, so you're ready to practice. Okay, nice. So I think we have some minutes. So I'm gonna send you the screenshot. Okay, throw in a, a screenshot, and then you start practicing. So you can create as many. Um, you can give as many other directions as you can. Okay. Ustedes pueden ir dando tantas cuantas, eh, tantas les sean posible. So just let me create the breakout rooms. And let's see. Okay, so let's start. Let's open that. So you have some time. So try to give uh, clear directions. Tratamos de dar ahí las direcciones más claras posibles, ¿ok?
So you can start joining the breakout rooms. Ya pueden unirse a las salas. De las que están. Ajá. Sería de estas que están in, on, under, Ajá. over. Esas. Sí. Permítame que la vea. Creo que se salió Carmen, Mario. Tres. No, esa no la tengo. No. No, esa no la tengo. Creo que es Ingrid. Teacher. Dígame, dígame. ¿Nos puede compartir de la pantallita de las propo la no, propositions? No, no, no. Oh, please. Ah, ok, las de movimiento son ya. No, 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 Ajá, para enviarles todo. Okay. Ajá, les voy a enviar los documentos. Este es el otro. Ay. Porque Ingrid está diciendo la proposición de Water Plus. Water Place, para eso. Ajá. Ahorita se les mando. Thank you. Check that. ¿Qué? ¿Ella? No. Le voy a mandar unas capturas mientras este.
ارجع بقى انا الشات الميرين شات انت نو حسنا No son esas. No, no es esa, teacher. No, teacher. Esas entonces son las otras. Vamos a ver. Ah, pero para dar las indicaciones ahorita. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ajá, como ahorita van a dar indicaciones. Sí. Ajá. Esas son, okay. esas serían, estas son de. Esas serían las que tendríamos que utilizar. How do I do? Ah, ok. Ok, ok, ok. Okay, thank you. Traten de crear una para ver cómo, cómo van a dar las, las direcciones. Okay. Okay. Ahí lo siento por la bulla. No problem. Quería ponerlo a la par, pero no puedo. No, no vean. ¿Cómo no? Ahorita quiero ver... Una horita lo que hizo ahorita. Permítame. Ah, pues no. Bueno. ¿Qué les pasó, chicos? Ah. Es que yo no alcanzo a ver todo el, el mapita. Chico. Ah, sí, solo haga la más pequeñita ahí en el cabal, así, con, con la lupa que está arriba. Ahí está. Así, así, ah, ojo, oh, gracias. No creo ver ahí. Ahí eso me es muy grande. Sí, ahí muy grande. No, déjenlo como en 100. <risa> así. Así está bien. Uh -huh. Así, ok. Ok. Entonces estamos con de... En Supermaker. Y queremos llegar a Cinema. Cinema. Ajá. Ajá. Sería Google One Blog. Ve eh, una cosa. Google One Blog. A Tour. Tour. Tour right. Tour right. Y gira a la derecha. Uh, At the traffic lights. ¿Qué uh -huh. significa eso, Ticha? La semáfora. At the traffic lights. At the traffic lights. Ajá. Uh -huh. En el semáforo, ¿qué va a hacer ahí? Mira, turn, turn right. Turn right. Ajá. Uh -huh. Right or left? No, right. Derecha. Ok, pero va para el cine. Vamos a ver. Del supermarket. Go one block. Uh -huh. At the traffic lights. Um, go one block. Ok, go one block on Central Avenue. At the traffic lights. Turn. Turn. Uh -huh. No, yo creo que Turn. se iba. Iba directo. Ah, van al cine, van al cine, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Ajá, entonces de ahí del traffic light, que está ahí por el town hall, el hotel, 
de aquí, ahí tiene que hacer el cruce. Ah, el cruce, ajá, ajá. no, ya yo me había quedado en nuestra esquina. Ajá, ah. a la... Turn left, right? Turn left, left, ajá. Uh -huh. On Hill Street, ajá, uh -huh. gira a la izquierda, on Hill Street. The cinema is next to... El cinema está enfrente. Uh -huh. Next to, a la par de. Next to, a la par de. Her... 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 Ah, ok. Her... Entonces Her... ustedes lo querían llevar allá por la Main Street, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Cierto. Ok. So go one block on Hill Street at the stop. Ok. At the stop or around the corner on Main Street. The cinema is around the corner of Main Street. Entonces sería nuevamente. Um, go one block from the supermarket. Go one block at the traffic lights. Go on one block on Central Avenue. Okay, una cuadra. At the traffic lights. Turn left at the, on Hill Street. Go past. Go past, um, no, no sería go past, sería go on Hill Street. Ajá, porque el hairdresser está del lado del Central Avenue. Entonces, aquí en la Hill Street, no, ahí serían como los costados. Ajá, go on, in, on Hill Street. The cinema is at the corner. El cine está en la esquina. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok. So try with okay. another one. So how about the, let's see, the bank. The one below, uh, ah, the okay. Bank. Okay. Dale, dale. Okay. Ahora. Okay, sería. Go to the corner and turn to the right. Go one block. Go two block. Sería. Me pasa el, el, el. Go two block. And it is at the corner Oak Street and Main Street. Mm, okay, yeah. Estamos perdidos. De cinema. <risa> no, ese, estaba, estábamos en el, en el train station y ah. queremos llegar al bank. Al bank. Mm. O sea, si estamos en el train station, se, de, de, se go to the corner. Ah. Turn mm. to the right, go one block. It is at the corner Oak Street and Main Street. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's across from the cafe. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Then I had uh, two blocks. Two blocks. Mm -hmm. It's uh, right across cafe. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Across the cafe. Across the cafe. Okay. Now, how about, let's see, one more question. Where is the, let me see, the Cinema from the supermarket. Cinema from Emma. Cinema. Uh, from the supermarket. Go two blocks. Okay, two blocks. Eh, en el semáforo sí, no 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 te como se decía semáforo pero. Traffic lights. Traffic lights. Traffic light. At the traffic light, turn to the right. Okay. Go one, one block. Mm -hmm. go, or you can use go past. Puedes utilizar go past the post office and the sports center. Ah, go past mm -hmm. the post office and the sports center. Uh -huh. The cinema is? The cinema is at the corner. Uh -huh. Main Street and Hill Street. Uh -huh, the corner of Main Street and Hill Street. Okay, excellent. 
Thank you, guys. Let's okay. close and let's finish. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
question. Y tiene que ponerle el símbolo de pregunta al final. Acá, en la primera letra tiene que ser mayúscula. Que no hayan dobles espacios acá en medio. Ahí solo hay uno. Y acá que lleve el símbolo, el question mark. Ahí la segunda dice, what? Ahí so, aparece minúscula, pero yo tengo que poner el mayor. What auxiliary subject? Okay, y el verbo principal. Y el question mark. What do you do? Esta le dio problema. No, ajá, me ha dado problema, pero ya contesté dos. Ah, ok. Vale. Esa no la, la primera y la tercera no la he contestado. Ah, vaya, pero ahorita ya con eso ya las hicimos. Vamos a ver la tres. Where. Ahora el verbo auxiliar. Das. Sujeto. Okay. John. Ahora el verbo. Come. Come from. Where does John come from? ¿De dónde viene John? ¿No la tenía así? No, esa no la tenía así tampoco. Ok. Y esta de abajo, esa sí ya las había contestado. Esas se le salieron buenas. De... Esas, la última creo yo que sí me, me salió buena, ya le voy a decir, fueron la segunda, ajá, la segunda y la última me salieron buenas, solo me faltaba la tercera, la cuarta y la primera. La tercera, ajá, lo la que tienen que recordar acá es que primero va la double H question, ¿Sí? después el auxiliar que va a depender, si es das es porque acá es una tercera persona y tenemos a John, entonces usted nota en las otras, de eh, what do? Porque utilizo do, porque el pronombre que estoy ocupando es you. Entonces aquí das, solamente es con he, she, it. Where does, John. Es solo que recuerde la estructura. Double H word, la double H question. Después, oh, oh. después de ser do o das. Okay. El sujeto y luego el verbo. Y, y lo que sigue, sí, el, el resto de la complementa ahí en la pregunta. Ah, ok. Hoy uh -huh. sí ya. Ahora le checamos. Y ahí está. Está bien. Okay. Sí, la, 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 la copió ahí la fórmula. Sí, teacher. Vaya. Ok. ¿Alguna otra, eh, Mario, que tenga dificultad? No, solo esa. Solo esa. Sí. Okay. Perfecto. Cualquier cosa avise. Ok. Envíenme alguna sí. captura para apoyar. Ok. Muchas gracias. Sí, Mario. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Nos vemos mañana. Ok. Gracias. Sí. Sí.